Welcome back to Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. Last time I learned exactly what a challenge uh, Big Gnarly is going to be, and we explored this watery area. Uh, I'd like to start things off by giving a shout out to Torix00, who says that it's disturbing that calling the mound the dungeon with a face doesn't narrow it down that much. As that also describes... The, uh, the dead dragon, of course. Oh, yes, here. Oh, it was in there. Yes, the dead dragon and the belly of the whale. Who not just, who not only has a face, it's still alive. He's just been hanging out here with his tongue drying out this entire time, as opposed to the mound, who just has a big hole in the side of his head. I'm not sure that's better. But this is a level 30 dungeon, so I thought I would make myself feel better about the, uh... the big gnarly thing. By walking in here. And rocking face. Baddie health times 0 0.75, so I assume that means all the baddies have less health than usual. So it says times and not plus. And, uh, but it also has rocket retaliation, which could mean any goddamn thing, but I have a feeling it means when I kill dudes, I'm not going to enjoy it. Oh, and Torek adds, oh, and well, we'll just have to see if the beheaded behemoth's head is lying around somewhere. <laughs> that is true. Alright, let me just see. Oh, yes. Oh, no, that wasn't it. I was wondering if something like this status explosion could help me with the ranger problem. Inflict a negative status on a baddie to cause a sharp explosion around them. If I could make the target I shoot explode, then I would only have to shoot one of the targets in that uh, row. That doesn't help ranged resistance. is tradition. Let's have nobody do this. This is weird. I don't know why you want me to go inside, Mr. Whale, but... Oh, for fuck's sake. The support pillars in this dungeon are harpoons. Just pointing straight down with their st uh, shafts up to the ceiling. What does that say? Pirate juice on a big keg off to the side. That's actually a little keg. I would imagine it's full of grog, given that name. Oh, here we go, the sign. Baddie health times 0 0.75. The health of all baddies is modified. Rocket retaliation. Baddies launch a player homing rocket every time they take damage. Oh, so I gotta hammer these guys at as few hits as possible. It's not just when they die, it's when they take damage. Oh, boy. Pirate skeleton, nice. Pirate wheel on the wall for some reason. And I can see an anchor in the foreground. Maybe this guy wanted me to clean out his mouth. Okay, let's take a look around. No, sir, I don't like it. All the oars and fish skeletons make perfect sense, of course. Although I don't think whales are supposed to have barnacles on the inside. I'm pretty sure that qualifies as body horror. Apparently nobody is smaller than the mermaid. Every time I say a sentence like that, oh, that's the whale in the background. That's what that is. Oh! Oh, and they've got the shield fucking buff. Oh my god, there's a million dudes in here! Okay, it looks like the rockets only do 25 damage each, but that's still not ideal. Oops, I read the sign. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh shit, oh fuck. Uh, I'm, no, I'm panicking. No, that's a terrible idea. His whole thing is hitting them lots of times. Uh, 
you know who doesn't hit them lots of times is the zombie who just kind of kills one person and then steps back. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm stuck in the corner. No. Aha! Oh boy, I love this. I just hang out right here and it smells real good. Oh shit! Right, some of them can fly. Uh, right. Yes, good. No, no, didn't think that one through at all. Still on the wrong side. Okay. Oh no! When the, when the minions hit, it still counts as a missile towards me. Dare I ask what poison? Oh, of course, he turns into another one afterwards. So this is important. The crab that just died, the big crab that just died, turned into one medium-sized crab that then turned into two smaller crabs. You know, like a slime in a... RPG. This is an RPG, but you know what I mean. Like a slime, you know? Sometimes you slice them in half and they just turn into two smaller slimes. Except every time one of them died, that one also turned into a zombie. So both the medium crab and the zombie of the big crab were the same entity? And that's really confusing to me. This guy turned into like five different zombies. No, I guess it's just four, because as the medium stage is just one, not two. What am I not thinking of? Okay, uh... Nobody. Zombie. Uh... Fuck. Ranger, let's leave you off. No, I have a... I want to try poison to see if that also gets me, so I'm going to swap out, let's say, the magician for the rat. Yeah, right. Oops, I hit I hit the detonate button even though no one was poisoned. For fuck's sake, I don't care about the sign. Nope, this is bad. Oh fuck. Oh, why am I panicking? Jesus. Oh, yes. Uh, okay. So the guard didn't actually have his shield on. That's why I switched to him. Um, Jesus. I need to think this through. I need something that just does devastating amounts of damage. And I need you to be dead. Hmm. I mean, the bodybuilder does a ton of damage, but... He's, it's really more of a crowd thing, like he does more damage in each swing of uh, this guy's sword, but... It's really more about the fact that his attack is really big, you know? So I don't know if that's the best idea or the worst idea. Uh... Shame I don't have someone who makes the, the fight each other. Machine gun ability to be even worse. Uh, right, complete 12, floor 12 in the impossible dungeon to unlock the dino form. That's on the map. I should look into that. What a silly way of doing this. Maybe I can fear them away from me. You know, it is just like a pirate to put money inside of a thing labeled booze. Just saying. Um... Where did I put that? Oh yes, shout out to Roshan. 
the only downside to the dungeon at the start, not being able to just slap everyone to the starting form. And it took me a bit to even realize what that meant, and it suddenly blew my mind to realize that in Big Gnarly, even nobody could rock face. Because every one of these slaps would be worth 9,999. The only difficulty is that I would have to be right up their ass in order to hit them with it. Alright, um... Oh. Not the more smashables in that direction. Tale of the Haunted Baleen Mammal. That was a terrible idea. I forgot every hit of this also hurts them. Although when they get feared, they run off, so they're not, you know, getting in my way, so there's that. This isn't a great plan. How the hell do I counter this? thinking it probably. Let me just go through and keep healing, huh? Uh, okay, maybe if I hadn't tried to walk straight into water right there, that would have gone better. Fuck, that wasn't the right button! I was playing a whole bunch of uh, Remnant 2 lately, so I was expecting A to be dodge for a second there. Embarrassing! baddies as the horse. Huh. It, I guess it worked. I guess I was inflicting stun and then killing enough of them to count. Custom 2, stun and stomp, kill stunned baddies. As the horse. Promotion to B! I don't think we get anything out of that. Although we are very we're getting closer to uh, unlocking the monk. Oh no, I did unlock the custom ability slot. The horse can now equip an additional ability from other forms. I forgot you had to unlock those. Per form, I mean. The custom three unlocked. Non-stop gallop. Gallop for ten seconds without stopping or taking damage. Is there a passive about using less mana? Hmm. I'm trying to think of a big enough area. I mean, maybe the battlefield, but there's, like, piles of skulls and stuff all over that place. Alright, I'm gonna try the bodybuilder. See how that goes. While I do that... There he is, off to the side. But, uh... Ah, yes, here it is. Shout out to Justin Jones. He leaves a comment saying, Ah, nothing like watching a new BDF vi uh, video whilst eating lunch with a girlfriend. <laughs> Probably didn't need to share that part with you, but I felt like doing it anyway. <laughs> also, I have dubbed the bodybuilder's barbell weapon the Fucker Flattener. <laughs> I love that. That is excellent. Okay, let's go about rocking face. Oh, there's a chest over there. I suddenly looked at the map and seen. Right. Excellent. Right. Just looking around for goods and services. It'll be easier if I did that as a ghost, maybe. It moves at the same speed over land and water. Who the hell is... Oh, it's the shield guy. I do, on the other hand, have a boatload of health as the, uh... 
There's the body build. That does help. I hadn't considered that angle. Just being so strong that a 25 att missile attack doesn't matter. Jeez, it really is like, uh... Oh, shit! Wasn't done, wasn't done! Like using a rolling pin to smooth out dough. There's one of those giant crabs again. I like how their claws kind of look like boxing gloves with spikes on them. Okay, I'm just gonna pause right there since that crab is stuck in the corner. Okay, problem solved. I'm gonna go over here and do some slapping. Better than that chest I opened. But not better than this chest, am I right? <laughs> sorry, sorry, the form is wearing, uh, rubbing off on me. It's wearing off on me, it would be exactly the opposite effect. Anchor? Huh. I guess that makes sense. I mean, I don't know that it would really matter what it's made of. I've just never seen one that wasn't made of metal. I don't even know what this is. It looks like, you know, ri a rib cage, to be perfectly honest, except the ribs are made of wood. Maybe it's part of a ship. Netted up light bulbs somewhere. I've seen that before. I've definitely seen that before. Oh, in the witch town, they had wrapped up uh, spheres of light on top of their pillars. Hmm. I don't think that's meant to be the same thing. Oh god. I'm at full health. I really was overthinking the missiles. Kill the one without the problem on it. All oh, these buffs. Oh. You know, it's just occurred to me that maybe the reason it's not ethereal and can't walk through, say, this treasure chest is that the ghost is that this isn't really a ghost. It's a living shapeshifter impersonating a ghost. Oh, I didn't notice that before. As soon as I killed the, uh, the buffing guy, the dude next to him immediately lost all four levels of his shield buff. Hmm. I just assumed that that would, you know, survive the guy and wear off. Maybe it's like the cat mages. Maybe all magic resets when you die. Hang on. What are you doing over there? You can float. Why don't you just come after me? Now you get to do it. Now you get to experience terror for the first time in your life. Ooh. Oh no! Whatever will you do? You'll eat shit and die. That's what it will be. What you'll do? What? Never mind. <laughs> That thing really weirds me out. It's made of two, probably three faces, all sticking off in different directions. No eyes, hole for a nose, and the... Uh, I can't see one of the faces because it's pointed directly away from me, but if it's anything like the others, instead of a tongue, it's got a wing. I can't even tell what these guys do. Oh, they're the debuffers. It's trying to put a slow, uh, slow buff on me. How 
not very good at it compared to the other guys and their shockwaves. Nothing. Just a fishing net on the wall. A bunch of barnacles. I think those things among the fishing net are like the floaters to keep it from sinking to the bottom of the ocean before you retrieve it. The timer did go just there, so let me peek into this room. Oh yeah, that looks like a combat room right there. Good time for it then. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Nobody Saves the World when we keep pressing forward, helping out this uh, whale with this whole monster infestation, and send him on his way. Till then, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time. Later!